Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's Rust Belt Collector here, and today we are taking a look at the Spartan Collection 2-pack Spartan Mark 7 and Spartan Gungnire. This is a Target exclusive 2-pack, and I don't think that many people knew that this was even coming out. It showed up on Reddit maybe a month ago, that's at least where I first saw it. It was on store shelves, and I don't think there was really any announcement that this was even coming out. So the first announcement, if you can call it that, was it just appearing on store shelves. Now you can also order this on Target.com. I will link that down below. The retail price for this is $44, which is essentially, I guess, the price for two Spartan Collection figures nowadays. So it does make sense in that way. And also at that price point, you do qualify for free shipping on Target.com. So that is nice. It's, you know, you're, you're getting this for essentially what you would pay if you found it on store shelves. Now this pack comes in the standard packaging we kind of know and love by now. And then here on the back, you just have some nice photos of the product along with lists of what you're getting in this pack. This is part of series five, I guess, technically, even though it's coming out on sort of the tail end of series five, beginning of series six. So it has the older packaging, whereas we see with like the new sets, we're getting the blue and gray packaging instead of this green packaging. And apart from that, it's pretty straightforward. You see what you're getting here through the picture window. Packaging is largely the same. So let's get this out of the box. Now I gotta say, I don't buy a ton of the Spartan collection. I am all in on the world of Halo line. It just makes more sense. You get the vehicles, you get the Covenant, all that good stuff. But when I saw a two pack of two gray, dark colored, you know, earth toned colored Spartans, I could not say no. That is what I am a sucker for. Whether it's clone troopers, Spartans, you know, armored characters in grays and greens and more like drab military colors. I, I just dig that so much. And this pack really, really brings that home. You have this kind of earth-toned Spartan Mark VII and this gray-toned Spartan Gungnire. Let's start things off with accessories. So first up, we have this really awesome sniper rifle. You have the movable bipod that you can bring down or fold upwards. This is a, if not an all-new sculpt, it is certainly a scale up from the last one that we got. If you can believe it, this is the previous version of the sniper rifle we got with Spartan June. And this is the beautiful, in my opinion, upscaled version of that. It's just so much more accurate to the size that it should be in comparison to the Spartans. And also a lot of these details just seem way better defined, I guess, in the molding. So that is really nice to see. This carry handle can move a little bit as well because it's actually pegged into the sniper rifle holding these uh, the bipods in place. So you can kind of move that up and down. But you can see there even the detail on the rail. The front of the sniper scope is painted. It's it's really nice. I'm really glad that they've done this, got it more accurate to the game, and it just looks so impressive in the hands of a Spartan. And honestly, this is probably how I will be displaying it because June needs an accurate sniper rifle. You know, I've got plenty of weapons I can give to the Spartan Mark VII, but June needs a properly sized sniper rifle, not, not this puny little, like, DMR-sized one. And of course, this sniper rifle has the little peg hole right there underneath the scope. So on pretty much any of the Spartans, you can just pop this little peg out of the back, turn it around, and that gives you the option to display it with the weapon slung on the back. Now then, we also get this brand new mold for the Sidekick pistol. It now has that underbarrel flashlight, and it's slightly scaled down from this earlier version that I believe we saw in Wave 1 packed with Master Chief. Like with the sniper rifle, the Sidekick has a little hole there, allowing you to place it on the side of the Spartan's leg. All you gotta do to do that is pop this little peg out here, turn that around, place it back in, and... There you go. I do like this feature on the Spartan collection because, you know, if you don't have a weapon here, that peg would be really ugly if it was just sticking out. So having that little piece able to be popped back into the leg like that is a really cool feature. You still have the functionality of being able to place weapons on the Spartan's leg or back, 
but also you have the ability to just have it like this. And then finally, we get the very first battle rifle ever seen in the Spartan collection. This is like one of the most iconic weapons in all of Halo, apart from maybe the assault rifle. This is just, you know, it's a core piece of Halo, and it's great to see it in the Spartan collection. It looks really awesome here with the Spartan Gung Nair. But of course, I can't resist showing it on one other figure, because when I saw this battle rifle, my first thought was, I know just the figure that it should go with, and that figure being Halo 2 Master Chief. Now I don't know which Spartan this battle rifle will go to in my collection for display, but I did just want to show that it has functionality outside of the Halo Infinite Spartans, and it looks really fitting with this Halo 2 Master Chief. And of course, as with all these, it has a hole drilled there, you just gotta turn that peg around, and there you go. Now then, for hands, you get a matching set of seven hands for both Spartans, so we're just gonna go over one set because they are identical. You get two of these hands where they are gripping just standard. These are what come initially on the figures. You get two closed fist hands. You get two trigger hands, which is a really nice inclusion because then you can go between either the gripping hands or the trigger hands, depending on your preference. And you get one gesture hand. This could be used as kind of like a, a mock salute, or he could be gesturing like, hey, look over there. This is a nice assortment. I really don't feel like there's anything missing here from these hands. Like these cover a wide variety of gestures and holding different weapons. So I think this works really well for just a standard assortment of hands. Now, normally, because these are largely the same mold, I would just go over articulation on one of them. But there are a couple points that I will touch on with both of them, but largely we'll just look at the articulation on this one figure here. So he has a hinge and swivel at the head, allowing you to pivot left and right. Now mine was very tough out of the box, but you can get it forward to there and you can get it all the way back to there. But again, just maybe be careful with that joint fresh out of the box, maybe boil it or something, heat it up a little bit to make it easier the first time, but I'm sure eventually as time goes on, that will be easier. You can get a little bit of side to side tilt there as well. So, you know, there, there's expression that you can get out of this helmet. The shoulders are hinge and swivel, so swivel all the way around hinge up to 90 there. The shoulder pad is slightly soft and it's also kind of hollow there so it allows it to go over top of the armor which is great. There is also a swivel at the bicep and then the elbows are double jointed allowing you to crunch into 90. And at the wrists you have a hinge and swivel on all the different hands so this is the same for all of them with an in and out joint as well. There's a ball joint at the torso allowing you some left and right forward crunch and back crunch. The hips have a ball joint and a thigh swivel, so you can pivot it forward to there, back to just there, and you can actually get the splits with this, which is really awesome. The knee joints are double jointed, so you can pivot those all the way back to there. While these knee joints may not be perfect, they do seem to be making some improvements from some of the previous waves, where people were complaining about really weird knee joints that were way too long and really loose in some of the rubber. These actually have very little play side to side, and when you bend them, they still look pretty decent. Just to give you an idea of what I'm talking about here with the Halo 2 Master Chief, you can see his knees are very bendy side to side. There's some soft rubber in there, and when you bend them, they look rather odd. So in comparison between these two, I'm very glad to see that they've made some improvements there, and hopefully they can fine-tune these even more in the future. The feet are on a hinge and rocker, so you can push them forward to there, point them back to there, side to side rocker, and there is also a little swivel at the toe. Now again, these are both largely the same. However, with this Spartan Mark VII, there is a little bit more mobility with the head in terms of side to side tilt. And because the shoulder pads are different, I just wanted to show that with this one, you can actually get it to, you know, pass 90 on the uh, on the T pose. But really, I don't think you need more than the 90 degrees that you get with this one. So both are excellent. I just wanted to show that these shoulder pads do actually give you a little bit more range. But when it comes down to it, these are basically the same figure and both are pretty solid. I would say they have a good range of motion. They have some improvements from previous waves, and that makes these really nice army builders, especially for a two pack. The only thing that's ever really bothered me with the articulation is the elbows here. I do appreciate that these are double jointed. However, when you try to get these guys to hold a weapon, the only swivel is at the shoulder there. So you can, you know, kind of get it swiveled over to there, 
but you can't really get it any lower than that. You can still get them to shoulder their weapon just fine, it just takes maybe a little bit more finagling to get it quite right. And I know that this is more of a nitpick of mine, but I do just wish that this was single jointed so you'd have the swivel at the elbow, giving you a little bit more mobility when trying to hold a weapon. The perfect example that I can show is here on the World of Halo Mark 7 Spartan. It is single jointed, you still get that 90 degree turn into the elbow, but then you have that option of pivoting that elbow inwards while the shoulder is level with the body, and that makes shouldering a weapon just feel a lot easier. Again, it's just a nitpick, it's not impossible for them to hold a weapon well with the double jointed elbows, but it feels just slightly easier with the single joint that has that swivel there at the elbow. I'd be curious to know what your thoughts are on that type of joint down in the comments below. Like, does this actually bother you or am I just alone and, you know, kind of just being a little bit too nitpicky with this figure? Despite my thoughts on the elbows, though, I still really like these figures. Again, I am a sucker for the gray and the green and the drab colors. I couldn't tell you exactly what armor coatings these are. I'm sure that they have an in-game counterpart but they just look really, really nice. In fact, they even look really nice together. You know, maybe this is a, a Spartan unit that we didn't get to see in the Halo Infinite campaign. It's just, it's fun to kind of play around with some, you know, head cannons or something, but the design here is really cool. What's also cool to see here is that there's a lot of new armor pieces going on here. This particular Mark VII attachment is brand new to the Spartan collection line. All the different shoulder pads we see here are new as well. We get matching ones on the Spartan Gungnir and asymmetrical ones on the Spartan Mark VII, which I think is a really cool choice because if these are truly multiplayer Spartans, sometimes you have players that like to mix things up a bit. This chest piece and this leg attachment are also brand new, and even the knee pads are new to the Spartan collection. We did not get these on any previous Mark VII bodies. It's also worth noting that the paint apps here are really crisp, looking very clean. The line work, especially on the Spartan Gungnir here that has the little yellow and red markings, looks really, really nice. There's no overspray or anything. And also, though it may be kind of hard to pick up on camera, both Spartans have some silver dry brushing. You can see it there along the ridge of his chest plate and along the ridges here on the top of the Mark VII's helmet. It is all over and it really helps make these guys look battle damaged and it also makes a lot of the sculpted details pop just a little bit more. And we also get the return of glossy visors. I thought for sure that this would just be, you know, a flat black visor going on here because it's so small. But as you can see there, it actually has a really nice gloss coating to it, which looks so cool. And for the first time with the Spartan Gungnir, we actually have the chrome visor, which looks really sweet. Even though I have to admit, I'm, I'm not a huge fan of this removable visor piece, it, just in terms of the Halo Infinite design. It's not anything wrong with this figure because they're just following the design of the game. But in game, if, if I'm going to wear the Gungnir armor, it's going to look like it does in Halo Reach, which is just like this. Now then let's go through and take a look at some of the previous iterations of the Mark VII Spartans that we've gotten in the Spartan collection. I honestly kind of thought for a second like, hey, we've only ever gotten one Mark VII, the, the red one from Series 1. But in fact, we have actually gotten three previous versions. We also got this one. I can't for the life of me remember the name of this Spartan. Uh, Spartan Enigma, maybe? I think that's the name of this armor. We got the Spartan Enigma there, and we also got the Spartan Gungnir in an orange armor coating. This one actually does not have the uh, the chrome on the eyes, it's just painted green there. So that's why it was worth noting that the new one actually has chrome eyes. It's pretty cool seeing all of these lined up here and all of them being extremely unique from one another. Each one of these brought with it some sort of new design or new attachment. You know, we started with the basic Mark VII and then we moved up into the Gungnir with different armor attachments and leg attachments. We got more with the Enigma and these just kind of keep that trend. You know, we're not getting just a recolor. We are getting new parts, new armor designs, new armor coatings, and that's just so awesome to see because Halo is all about the customization in the multiplayer. So that's what we're seeing here. We're seeing a bunch of custom Spartans with unique armor attachments and unique armor colors. There is actually a good chance I will pick up a second one of these packs because I could see some cool kit bash, custom repaint opportunities here with these. They have the improved articulation. And as I've said before, their armor coatings are just right up my alley. So it's, it's gonna be tough to not get another pack. Now, as we wrap things up, I did wanna showcase one little thing that is really cool for any of you customizers out there. It's actually something I just figured out in this video, but with these Spartans, 
you can actually pop them apart at the torso with relative ease. And because that joint hasn't really changed from figure to figure, even from all the way back in wave one, you can actually pretty much just pop and swap these upper torsos and legs. This right here actually works really well. I think that this torso and these legs are cast in, if not the same color, one that is very, very close. And that just straight up works as a custom figure right there. Like, boom, there you go. Playing around with it a little bit more, it seems like these two have some older tooling in the torsos that makes them not quite as compatible, which is disappointing because this swap here was really simple and really cool looking. But if you're an avid customizer, I'm sure with a little bit of modification, you could definitely get that to work. You may even have luck popping out the hip joints and just swapping legs over or arms over. You know, there's definitely some room to play around with customization with these, and I may even do a complete video on that at some point. But with all that being said, I still really like these figures. I still think that the Spartan collection has good value for what you're getting. All the interchangeable hands, all the great sculpt work and detail and the weapons, especially these upgraded weapons like the sniper rifle and the upgraded sidekick. The detail is really nice. The specific armor coatings you get with these two is a personal favorite of mine so far with the Mark 7s. And overall, it's just a really good army building or customization pack from the Spartan Collection. Again, I don't really focus on the Spartan Collection with my personal collection. I kind of just pick up figures here and there, and even I might pick up a second pack of these. So this is definitely a win for the team that put these together over at Jazzwares. I am really, really impressed with these. But anyways, that is where we are wrapping up this review. So if you want to pick up this pack for yourself, I will link it down in the description so you can get one of your very own. And you can also find a link tree down there in the description. That'll take you over to my Instagram, over to my Facebook. All my other social links are down there if you want to follow me on any other platforms. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate all of you that have taken the time to like, comment, subscribe. It just, it means so much to me that you guys stick around here on the Rustbot Collector channel. But anyways, thank you again so much for watching. Have a wonderful evening, noon, or night, depending on when you're watching this video. And I will be sure to catch you all in the next video. Mm -hmm.